Hello and welcome to Nati Here. We do a little bit of everything here. From cooking and baking to pets to journaling to DIY, we truly have a little bit of everything. And we're only getting started. Let's go ahead and focus in on what you want to see today, which is a waffle recipe that does not contain any oil. Instead of oil, we are using applesauce as a substitute. This is a make and rate video, so we will make the recipe and then we will rate it. It will be in three categories. The ease of the make and bake, if the recipe is picky eater friendly, and if we would make and bake this recipe again. Each category can be rated out of five stars for a total score of 15. And as always, the recipe that we're reviewing today is going to be down in the description below. To start off with these applesauce waffles, we have to combine all of our dry ingredients. Something to note is that the recipe called for whole wheat flour. Due to the democratic process this household took, we opted to use white flour. So the taste might actually be different if you were to use whole wheat flour, but we'll try that next time. We now mix our dry ingredients all together until well combined, and then we're going to create a well in the center of this mixture. Creating this well allows us to put our wet ingredients in the center of the mixture, and then when we mix everything together, it should be able to mix in more evenly than if you had not created a well in the center of your mixture. With the well created, you can now add in the wet ingredients, including milk, melted butter, applesauce, and three egg yolks. Just the egg yolks. The egg whites have to be done a little bit differently than I have done previously. But we'll get to that in a second. Once your dry ingredients are combined with your wet ingredients, of course minus the egg whites, just mix it until it's well combined. If you guys recall, we had to separate out our egg whites from our egg yolks. We'll now be working on the egg whites and use either an electric mixer or in my case a hand mixer. You could probably achieve the same effect with a whisk and a fork even. The recipe states that you should do this until stiff peaks appear or until fluffy. I did this until I saw that there was foam on top. Now the reason that we had to separate the egg whites from the egg yolks and do this to the egg whites is because you're basically putting some extra air into the egg whites and that's going to ultimately transfer over to the waffles creating a lighter, fluffier, airy waffle. I mentioned I continued to do this until I saw foam appear but also another telltale sign is when the color changes from an off yellow clear color to a white color. From there you can go ahead and mix it in with the rest of the ingredients. Once everything's mixed together we'll be able to put it into our waffle maker and we are done. Oh, it overflowed. Oh no. Hopefully you know how to use a waffle maker better than I did there. You want more waffle mixture in your waffle maker rather than on your counter. But practice does make perfect because after many, many uses of the waffle maker, I did get more waffles on my plate and I didn't have as much on the counter anymore. Now the taste of these guys, I have to say, is just like any other waffle I've had. And that's good. Whenever you're trying to make healthier alternatives or make a healthier substitute in something like a waffle or something that is so common and loved as it is, you don't want your alternative to taste completely different from the original. Additionally, with making this healthier switch from your normal oil-based waffle to this applesauce waffle, you're building that trust with your family, friends, or even with yourself that healthier alternatives can be just as delicious and tasty as your previous recipes. And you guys already know, I'm making this again. This is the first recipe we've reviewed that has gotten a perfect score. Amazing and well-deserved. Next time we'll do it with the whole wheat flour and we'll let you know what it's like. 